Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway, the legacy version, so this is before the repave. Uh, we're in the 87s, the 87 Legends cars. And uh, this is the first time I've been on the track. We're heading to qualifying. Uh, kind of debating whether I even want to qualify or not. But, uh, sure. Unfortunately, I'm the number one ranked car by I rating. I'm not gonna be the number one ranked car in terms of how good this is gonna go, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, like I said, these are my first laps out here ever in an 87 car at Legacy Texas. So, I'm gonna be learning a lot here in a very short amount of time. Twitchy, maybe. Not too bad, though. I'm gonna remember to keep on <laughs> staying on the track even after this run. Because um, I need to get some as much time as I can. This lap looks like it's gonna be faster. Uh, which is good, because apparently I am slow as dirt. Everybody knows dirt's very slow. That's what everyone refers to. Dirt. No one says. <laughs> no one says that. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a little bit better, but I am still slow. But that's fine. I kind of wanted to stay. Well, I wanted to try to get up to the front, but if it was clear that I was off pace, I think this is where I want to be. Honestly, I might. I've never done this before in the uh, Legends car, but I think I might up my steering ratio because it feels twitchy to me. A little too responsive. And it's not like I've done very much practice here, so it's not like I'll have to get used to it too much. But basically, all I've done is watch a video of someone racing it. I watched. Uh, Gavin at Griffin 2448. I think those are the numbers. Uh, I watched his race, or at least the first half of it or so, to get an idea of what it looks like. And uh, it was going off very soon, so. Just kind of got a general idea, and now I'm here. So. I was running my Q lap. Q laps kind of like I would as if I were saving tires almost. I don't think that's how you want to be fast, but that's uh, how I ran it. Alright. Looks like I might be able to get on the gas a little sooner. Doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, I can go into it a little harder, but maybe, but I think that's going to rip up the tires, so. And tires are always important in these 87 cars. Especially because you got we'll need to fuel. pit. Oh, well, probably. Probably we'll need to pit. Uh, I don't know if there's been any changes to how much fuel or t uh, tires we're getting this season. This is my first of the season in the Legends. Legend 87. <laughs> so, yeah. There could be some new stuff going on. We'll find out. We'll see how many tires that we have, and uh, we'll go out there and lose some iron, because I am not going to finish first. Let me tell you that right now. That's not happening. I'm just glad that uh, there were enough people for the race. Because uh, sometimes these uh, 87 cars don't get the same amount of participation as the other series. And it is um, Saturday, but later in the week. So the people that really wanted to run it probably already did. So I'll check them to see if they're muted or not. Um, 
Yeah, people that wanted to run it probably already ran it a couple times. So, it is what it is. So I, my best time only puts me about ninth, but I imagine you get probably like one fast lap. I, I honestly don't know how I got, I got, I got. Because, because first, you're faster than everybody. doesn't know how he got there. One lap to green. I honestly don't know how I did that either. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. To me, that sounds like something I would say. Car and track combination, so I'm surprised in third. I feel sorry for the person who's lined up outside of you. Whoever that is. All right. Hopefully we won't die in a horrible <laughs> wreck right off the start. Sometimes yeah, these so races can be a little bit wrecky. That's partly because it's kind of hard to drive, but also, you know, compared to other there things on uh, iRacing, but also because uh, the low partic participation rates mean a huge range of drivers, which means that uh, you'll get guys that understand it and start going real fast. And then you got guys that aren't going quite so fast and uh, they're on the same track. <laughs> so, I mean, you'll get normal wrecks as you would, you know, maybe a fast guy takes it too hard and spins out, or maybe a guy that's um, not, not doing so good just doesn't know the car very well and, you know, they're bouncing off the wall or something, but, you know, I think what really causes the biggest problems is whenever those guys meet. And, uh, you just get a big range of different skill sets and people cross paths so that's my theory on why these races end up being very chaotic a lot of the time once I warm up their tires I'm always afraid someone's gonna swerve into me I got two identical sitgo cars that must be some new paint that they found simultaneously or something that's funny uh, I'm not going to go hard at the start. Probably not going to go hard in general. Probably going to have to try to uh, do a fuel save. Bit of a uh, accordion start. But that's whatever. What you're going to do. Try not to jam the gas pedal down and, uh, you know, kind of have that half throttle or, you know, three quarters throttle. Be nice to the car. See how, uh, that serves me. I think that should make, uh, make for a good long run if I, uh, treat it right. I'm gonna worry more about my positioning rather than uh, you know, getting real fast out of the corner and whatever. Kind of just gotta hope we don't get run into for mind. Can't really do much about that if it happens. <sighs> Up to the steering ratio, it's feeling a little bit more natural to me. See if this guy's gonna stick a nose. Looks like we're fine. Easy on the throttle. Get some side by side action going on here. Have to keep an eye out. Just put my brake vise back. That seems to be the play. Seems to be the way to do it just about 99% of the time. At least that's been my experience. Put that brake by the back. Ooh, get some Outside, action up and up up there. Is that guy gonna be in the wall? Nope. Okay. I was worried when I saw him uh, get loose like that. You know that might ruin his corner. Suddenly he's uh, 
he's hitting the wall, so I have to watch out for that. Outside. Clear outside. Feeling pretty good on the exit of the corners. I think that like lower throttle thing I'm doing is helping me. Because so long as I'm on the bottom here, I think it really helps me out. Or, alternatively, I'm looking like a fool and burning my tires out. And everyone's like, oh, that guy, look at that. That guy doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know what's ahead of him, huh? But you know what? If we start uh, falling off really early, maybe I'll just do an early, early pit strategy or something. Because right now, it's looking like my assessment of this series isn't accurate, because everyone's racing pretty well. So much for the wreck fest. Not seeing much of that. This is a fun car to drive. I really enjoy driving these. I had um, that update not too long ago that was prompted by Dale Earnhardt Jr. I changed, I think it was like the way that the downforce works in this car, I think. Is that what it was? Something about uh, how they corner, that's for sure, because they're uh, a little bit more t tight around the corners now. They feel different when turning. And supposedly it's more accurate. From what I read, uh, got some old notes and that he found from guys like Bobby Labonte and uh, talked to guys like that about what these cars were like, you know, because they raced the real thing. Sounds like they got some good info. So I'm all about a more accurate simulation. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. You know, even if it doesn't race as well, I think it races fine. Just, you know, gotta adjust. But, uh, even if it doesn't race as well, if that's what it was like, that's what I want. Car that's outside. just my personal thing. Because, you know, we're racing a simulation. Yeah, you want it. I want to get the most accurate uh, representation. I like that. So. If they're going to be hard to turn, then that's just the way it is. And uh, I think another way it is, I think I'm probably going too hard right now. Speaking hard, that guy tore down the wall. That was a beefy hit. That's not going to feel good. If this were truly 1987, that would be a safer barrier to this wall, too, that he's running into. The lap time was at 32.8. Light throttle. I wonder if my uh, higher steering ratio is going to help with the tire wear. I'm not sure if that'll be the case. It's supposed to be. The idea is you're turning the wheel less. So, should be burning them off, burning off the tires less, but, you know, that's just one factor. And, uh, if I'm just racing completely wrong in the first place, then I'm probably not doing myself any favors. He's gonna bounce off and kill me. Oh my god. Outside. I saw him heading for that wall, yeah, and sometimes they just bounce off. So I was worried I was gonna be in the yeah, wrong outside. place, but it looked like he didn't bounce off quite as hard, and so I'll be taking that. So we've moved up pretty good. Didn't really know how to qualify, but. At least uh, we're moving forward in the in the main event. Getting a little bit tight there. But we're fine. Kind of helped get the runoff a little bit. Because I was a little higher on the track. They're getting a little bit racy. Feel that brake pass. Ooh, is he going to turn down on him? That looks unnecessarily close. Feel the car protecting the bottom whenever he was just about uh, getting the nose in there. A little scary. Don't do that. I just lost.
lost focus there for a second. I was like, the car turned in better than I thought it would. And I'm like, why am I down here? Why am I all the way down here? <laughs> These guys have burned off their tires. Hello, I am out here. Stay low, okay. the car on the high side. Oh, Dealing her past the rest action, almost. Not quite as dramatic, but he kind of forced me down there. I was coming with a full head of steam, and he's like, I think I'll try to be on this lane. And, uh, no. No, I was going there. That's where I was going. Alright, don't spin in front of me. Did I save my tires well or something? I don't know. I've been using my brakes since the beginning, I imagine. A lot of guys prefer to not use brakes. So maybe I'm uh, getting an advantage by doing that. I really just seem to be getting off the corner pretty well. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear. All right. Still moving forward. Make sure we still hit these marks. You've just done a Top five. See that? That's what I'm talking about. It feels like it got to the low line so quick. Like how did the car's turning better than I think it's gonna turn? Which is a good problem to have, I guess, but... <laughs> throw threw me off of at least one corner. Alright. Not sure where you're going, I guess you got loose. Glad I fought that off and didn't get spun. You're in fourth position. Yeah, this... That's reacting weird right now. Probably something I would have learned in practice. Learning how the car adjusts over time, although I almost never do long practices. Caution, yellow flag. Oh, and Still we have on. our Deep first caution. Alright. I'll car. be adding fuel to this machine. I'll just add it however right, much I need and I'll overfill end. it. Touch extra. Just to feel safer. And uh, given that that was a pretty good long run, I'm gonna assume we're gonna get more of that. And go ahead and take tires. Hopefully, we don't get half the field deciding they don't need them. We get just chaos, but we'll see. Gotta catch up. Not a bad uh, first run though, first 20 laps or so, going from, uh, what was it, 11th I started, to 4th, felt pretty good in the long run, so I like what I'm doing, whatever it is I am doing. This guy's scaring me, man, has to zoom past me. Yeah, we will be pitting. The leader died, is pitting. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Ooh, all right, got in there. Repairs. I'm not repairing this thing, it's racing fine. Oh, we're getting a little bit done. <laughs> but, uh, huh. I guess from hitting the wall? Let's go. Clear, punch it. I think we got some two tires out here, maybe. single file. I think that four car must have taken two tires. That would be my guess. 
We got out of fuel. It's fine, you got loads. It's fine, you got loads. <laughs> so. Got my crew chief doing math for me. Thank you, sir. Two tires work pretty often in these races. There's a lot of cases where uh, two tires are a good, are a good plan. We got 77.83 on the outside. 85.89 on the inside, though. That's pretty, uh... That's not nothing. Right, we also look like we got people that chose not to pit. So we will have to be aware of that. Single file in this series. Hopefully that'll help. Sorry, I got a runny nose. Just ate some curry before this, so... Uh, that's why I'm sniffling a little bit, sorry. Um, hmm. I think tires was the plan. However, my new, my new number one concern is being run over from behind. Because I will still be doing my take it easy approach. Because clearly whatever I did that last run was working pretty well. So we'll just keep doing it. And we will be, well, you know, good to the end on fuel. And hopefully we get a green run. If not, we're going to have to choose when to take the tires. I just don't think, uh, I don't think you can go no tires there. Because if it goes green to the end, you're in bad shape. One to go. Next time by. You're on the outside this time. Are they doing lap cars on the inside again? I think go back to doing that. All right, I guess uh, time to put my money where my mouth is. This is what it was like in real life. So I guess I'm gonna have to deal with that. Yep. So, you know, in real life the lap cars get up there. So, you know, it's, uh, it's accurate to the simulation, so, you know, that's what I want. Let me just go ahead and mock myself. But, uh, this usually gets kind of scary in iRacing. Because a lot of times, not always, I don't know anything about sit-go car number two, but there's a reason they're a lap down a lot of the time. You know, maybe they just get caught up in a wreck, but it seems... That you're more likely there's a reason you're back there and now he's right at the front of the field the he's going to be ready kids okay green, green, that's green. what you want don't hit me from behind they are checking up okay I'm just diving to the going. inside this is what I'm talking about don't want to get run over Still there at the bottom. Still there at the bottom. Hmm. Still inside. Alright. Stay high. Clear. Ooh, man, the car does weird stuff. Inside. This guy is gonna wanna be. Still there. To my inside, I almost hit the wall there on entry. So I had to take a weird path through the tri oval. And I didn't get the practice at all, so I hadn't experienced that yet, but I could feel myself heading toward the wall, so I had to make a bit of a weird maneuver. But I, uh, I think we're in a comfortable spot now. We can go back to doing our thing. And hopefully, we'll stay green and uh, we'll see these guys. And a few miles. Well, longer than that. But you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Oh. Hello. Sir. We are trying to have a green race. I don't know if you got the memo. <laughs> Got some space behind, so we're good for a while. 
Hopefully that uh, hopefully this run goes as well as the first run did. It wasn't just a fluke. Because I liked how that car was feeling. I would have really enjoyed if that race if the if that race like it's over. If this race went uh, green, I would have would have enjoyed that, but that's cool. I think we're still uh, doing all right. We got some space in between the guys. In between the different cars. Something you uh, see a lot more in uh, these older series is you get some more breathing room. Modern cars, uh, they're kind of always in a pack, it seems like. Especially with this next gen car coming out, everything's gonna be Daytona. So, we're gonna be bump drafting at Bristol probably. Although, I guess we kinda do already, that's just called a bump and run at Bristol. <laughs> but, not my point. from there from the 13 32.9 still trying to do the ease under the throttle thing because it seems to be seemed I think that was a big help to us before because it felt like we were getting really good runs off the corner. And I think uh, a big part of that was by keeping the tires nicer, by not going full throttle, and by uh, putting myself in a good position on exit. Though, uh, while I'm talking about that, we got the three car behind us catching up. So I'll have to keep an eye on that deficit, or the, you know, however far it is behind, that's what I'm trying to say. He seems to be gassing it up hard on exit. Judging by, uh, seems like he had a little burst of speed as we are three fourths of the way through the corner. Bit of a nose, but still out there. It's fine. Racing really well. That lap time was thirty three point two. Of course, uh, old Legacy Texas here. Got a much different banking in turns one and two. The new version you got uh, it's much flatter. brakes and stuff. In this car you gotta hit the brakes basically any track, so that's not uh, quite different here. Just gotta hit the brakes. Anyway, 
but uh, even in the modern cars, I do text this to kind of gotta get it to rotate. We got the run. No, quite. Almost there though. These guys are starting to fall off a little bit. Just when the tires are starting to feel good. Well, now we have to stay out, because that was too soon after. I was thinking we were going to get a longer green flag run, but now look at us. So now we're going to be in a bad position, probably. Huh. It's interesting. Can't imagine what happened. Seems like everyone was race racing just fine, but I guess maybe someone got into someone or something. I saw a little bit of smoke. It looked like an entry of turn one there, so maybe that's where the crime took place. Only got one set of tires left, though, so I don't want to take it yet. We're just now halfway through. So taking tires before put us in this spot. See what other guys do. But my mind is made up. Yeah, alright, well, you can go do that. Yep. I think we had one guy go in the pits. And uh, some people behind us for a buffer, thankfully. So I don't have guys on uh, fresh tires directly behind us. Maybe this is a good thing. Maybe my tires are going to be better than uh, these guys, and I just got a free bit of uh, ground, free bit of a uh, ketchup. What am I trying to say? <laughs> free uh, position on the track to get closer to these guys, and now I'll be firing off with nicer tires. We'll see. How's the car feel when we hit the gas? Good. We feel good. Another thing to keep in mind with this uh, series, too, though, is uh, no green-white checkers. So if you're approaching that last lap, and you know you're thinking, oh, I'll save this last set of tires, you know, you better than, uh, use it before the race is over, because it can sneak up on you. Suddenly, you didn't get the full use of your tires. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. We are halfway to the finish. Still, though, two cautions so far. Not too bad at all. Got some good green laps in there. Seems like these races either got some good green runs or they're just complete wreck fests that's what it feels like but uh, this is this is kind of like in between so maybe I don't know this series as much as I think I do that three car was pretty fast behind us and I'm not very aggressive on restarts so he might find a way past us pretty quickly. We'll see where uh, how it shapes up. But um, seventh place, okay. I think ideally I'd be wanting to get at least a top five as the number one car, but that's a uh, hard to promise when I'm doing some track car combo I've never done before. One to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. It's like, oh yeah, you're supposed to finish first. Uh, here's a new track and car combo that you've never seen before. Go get it done, pal. I don't know about that. <laughs> so, 
I think uh, top five would. That's plenty of optimistic goal to reach for. And uh, generally, I'm never upset as long as I get myself a uh, zero X race, you know, a clean race, and uh, don't finish like dead last or something, just completely off the pace. Generally, I'm content if it ends up at least that way. But uh, time has flown by. We're already getting back the green flag here. Just a moment. Get ready. Going green. The pace car is in. Green flag. Green flag. Got the nose on him, but he's cutting him off. Misshift. Like to see. Got caught behind him. I didn't want to give up this bottom line. Glad I didn't, because it looks like the outside line does not work. Guys, kind of all over the place, still trying to remember how this works. I get it. I've been there. Outside. Still there. Hold your mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. A little loose on entry. We're good. Clear high. Guess the tires cooled a little bit. But uh, he wasn't quite up to speed, so I didn't want to get stuck behind him too long. That's about a, as aggressive as I get. Really uh, asserting myself on the bottom line there. Thought I should clarify, about as aggressive as I get if someone doesn't make me upset. <laughs> because if you start, uh, you know, racing me like a big jerk, then, you know, you'll get a little bit back. But I don't want to be that way. But, you know. I think the best of us get uh, a little bit of the angries sometimes. So whoever that is out front, they've got it figured out. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe because these guys are fighting three wide and about to wreck each other. Maybe that's why they're just behind. Feeling good. I'm not seeing any guys on four fresh tires zooming through the field. That's something to be noted for later. Maybe track position is more important than you might think. I'll log that in the memory bank. Your lock time was 32.7. Pushes towards the law there at the last second. Gotta pay attention. Guy's driving great though. I like the setup. He's feeling good. Sticking to this bottom line. Seems like we're catching up just a tiny bit to this group ahead. Making good in time. They're racing really close though, so maybe I don't want to be so close to these dudes. Got a great exit for the corner there. That lap was at 32.7. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Tiny bit there. He's gonna be looking to the inside, but he's not gonna have the nose, I don't think. Oh, he does. He does have a nose. He can sniff with said nose. But, guy fought him off on the outside, so it was all for naught. I still feel like I'm gonna end up in a wreck. You I just got a bad feeling that someone's gonna 
try to make a pass on the inside, and the other guy is going to say nope, and uh, they're going to collide. Getting held up here. Not too big a fan of that. So that guy hits the apron a little bit right in front of me. Pull the left side tires off a little bit in the grass. That was a not intentional. But it also was not that big of a deal. We're a million miles an hour faster than this dude right now. Maybe we could push him by the 15 who had a bad corner. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. Alright, that's cool. Hold on to this, hopefully. You're back in fear. Leaves the door open down here, so Outside. let's go ahead and walk through that door. Bye-bye. Get a good angle in the corner. Hey, this is feeling good. I feel at home. I live in Texas, apparently. Get back in, in the year of 1987, I guess. I love the way this feels. I'm having a good time. Are you having a good time? I hope so. But you can see how much those guys are kind of holding me back. They're already almost a second behind. I think if we get a green run, we can try to track down number one up there. I think we have the capability. These guys do. Who knows what. Nope. Thought about the outside. But it looked like he might close it off. So, gonna give that a big N-O. Banana car. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Currently faster than bananas. We'll just have to wait for the right moment and the right opportunity. Was a Look how slow they are with the corner. I guess that's tires. They uh, still had some speed there, but they. Uh, This is mid corner speed, they just they don't have it. So seems like again my uh, whatever I was doing to keep my tires in shape has worked fairly well. Now I just gotta figure out how to get by them. Although they're well, still hanging in there real well. It's not a drastic speed difference, so. I can run to the back of them. Huh. Very close racing. Fun stuff. I think we got some good guys in here. Like this little line harvicking around this place. Getting some draft that probably helps pull away from the guys behind. Though this guy has to break a little harder into the corner than uh, we do. So that's throwing us off a bit. But I don't want to just do some crazy, like, sweeping outside pass or something. Because even if it might work, it'll just rip our tires apart. And uh, suddenly we don't have an advantage anymore. So. I'd like to find a way past them, but I'm not quite sure how we're going to go about doing it. Honestly, I might keep an eye on... Good lord. I might keep an eye on that def the, the, the difference between us and the leader. See if we're gaining having this draft here, but it does not look like it, judging by the fact that I just looked at it and it was...
climbing during, down the straightaway, so okay, Colton, that's good maybe we need to get by this guy as soon as possible. Maybe that's the truth. Well, I kind of pushed out of the corner there. Just need to push harder, I guess. Alright, sweet. Clear. I like it. Driving within my limits. Having had no practice, seems to be paying off in long-term speed. Let's see if we can go catch that leader, maybe, huh? As the deficit grow <laughs> grows higher. Yeah, let's pretend. Now these guys, they don't have tires anymore, it would appear. Dominoes, that's my uh, paint scheme in Arca. We're up to this guy's bumper. Kind of drifts a little bit. Not there though. Thought we had a chance. Not quite. Didn't want to just force it in there. Didn't look like there was enough room. Just so, backed off a bit. Lost some time. But, there will be another opportunity. Sooner than you might think. No pressure from behind. Not even from those who have chosen tires. Got more speed mid corner, but then he kind of gets a good run off the way he's running. So that's gonna make it hard for us to get by him, I think. But if I can stick the nose in when he's kind of like right up there like that, maybe we'll be fine. Because then he can't cut down. Unless, of course, he chooses to cut down anyway. And suddenly we got some problems. like second might be the height of our ambition. I think we can do it. Just gotta keep working on this guy. That last lap was a 33.0. Watch that quarter panel. Don't want to touch him. It's icky. Touch him. <laughs> and I just really wish I could get a run off the corner, you know? I just feel like I can't get it. Got it left to go. Who's this guy? Are you kidding me? Is there a guy that came out of the pits right now? He's gonna be racing the leaders. Are you for real? Yeah, you better give space. Oh my god. Why are you here? I'm working. I'm working here. 
I'm not gonna worry about him. He chooses to be a bad influence. Okay. Outside. Clear outside. Car outside. Stay low. Still there. Oh, Alright, well, he got a, uh, get a lift. Clear. Exiting the corner. I wasn't quite ready for it because I didn't want to tag him from behind. So, didn't quite get that done. Kind of make me freaking nervous back there. Focusing hard. Lap time was 33.0. Okay, Colton. Lap time's pretty consistent. Yes, lap car. Your tires are better. Of course, they're gonna be faster. That's how it works. This guy is driving a line that's very sketchy when combined with mine, because it's just turning down in the middle of the corner. If I get my nose in there, I feel like he's going to do it anyway, whether I'm there or not, so that's a little concerning. Six block in the low side. Inside. Clear. Inside. Don't want to pass on the outside. Still there. Hold your line. What's I have to? Still there at the bottom. Nope. <laughs> That's not going to happen. You can tell there's just no enough grip right, for it. Ooh, he hits the brakes hard. Outside. Can I have a little space, 10 car? You're making me nervous. Still time. <laughs> yeah, my crew chief's warning me about my tires, so I'm just trying to finish top three if I can. <laughs> well, that usually means you got at least 40% left. Oh, game on then. Ooh. Somebody said they got a new 50% warning and then like a 7% warning, but I've only got it where I got the word and then I hit it at 40%. Yeah, it's like 50 and 10, I think. Now we've got some room in front yeah, of us. I feel like we can push it a little bit more. I just gotta remember how to drive when I'm not watching the bumper of someone. The percentage, the faster they wear. So it's a lot shorter time to get between them. Yep. I definitely got the zero percent of uh, warning. I found that. Two go. Two to go. Oh, he's still here. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. Yeah, I got the. Can I hold on to it though? Uh, I'm to starting go, to feel the burn now. Trying to go slow because I don't know which car is it. Still there. Whew, that car's tight. I'm sure it's the fifth. Still there. Oh, hold your line. Clear. I don't know how good we can go 50 laps or whatever, we just had to go 55 laps. White flag oh, white gone. flag. Did you get in the wall? Oh, thank goodness. Well, the first time I kissed the wall today. <laughs> Last lap, bring it on. Don't home. mess Last it up. Get yourself a top two. Nah, I just got my ground. Well, you're chunking tires. I got hit like five times that corner. Yeah, I got the second warning and I can feel it now. Whew. Good race six. That was uh that was pretty tight there for a while. <laughs> yeah man, sure if I did the flag. Definitely not trying to do that, but there was no one point where I thought you
Oh, it definitely got me. And you guys sided me. And somehow I took a power out of a, out of four. But it was great racing like that for out of 20, 30 laps. And uh, good win, Anthony. Yeah, good win. Yeah, good win, Anthony. Well, that was fun. Lots of nice cars. I don't know here. how you pulled away there because for the first like 30 laps, I was keeping up with you pretty well. And on that restart, I don't know, maybe it was a heat cycle or something, but I could not stay with you. <laughs> All right, second Great, place. Guys, I think I need to work out the same size a little bit more. That's good stuff. Number two had a something a little yeah, different on his mind. Your, uh, <laughs> 1847. Your steer, 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 wow. Second warning. I'm gonna Sometimes, pop that in chat. I'm either good on one lap pace or good on one lap to, uh, I guess, like, let people know yeah. what's give, give happening the tires. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm distracted by what they're saying instead of doing a video. But that was super fun. Um, really enjoyed that. Second place as the number one guy. Started 11th. Had a great race. Um, let me look. Let's check out I, incidents. I think I was driving the for the first time trying to for here. So I was like 36 and 39 percent, and then my top tip I think was. Whoa! Oh my God! They had synchronized wall hits. 238, turns. and then the middle right tire, uh, right rear was 220. So 236 for right front with 36 percent wear left. Wow! And then 220 was temperature crazy. right rear with 38. We're gonna see a lot of that, aren't we? Yeah, thanks. I was definitely driving that. Hits. Guy behind me following. Don't yeah. see much of him. What uh? What's your setup? What are you setting up your car with? More wall hits. I thought this was a fixed setup now. It is, but you should definitely adjust the. Some nothing also happening. I like that, like. Kale Yarborough, I could think. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, so he kind of tipped me on the edge of the corner. That easily could have been bad. You can, you can click in and change those. If he hits me a little harder there, then that sends me spinning to the outside wall and I'm done for. I'd probably die if it was real life 1987, too. Heading this speed and getting hit at that angle. And then they just get run into from behind. I'm not sure what they were planning there. I think the guy that ran into him kind of just did it. <laughs> like, plowed through him because they didn't expect such a speed difference. I don't know if you're still here or not. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, I mean, have you ever adjusted your chassis for this car? Well, it not hit here. Hard. I mean, I've won race in this part. First of all, I'm really good there. Uh oh, oh here. is this another but caution? Is this the other caution, maybe? Yep, probably, because he's been yeah, I mean, under the me, track. He kept him below the apron, it might have been good, but. Down to the 40s, um, because whatever the baseline so is, I always find that most tracks is just way too high. And then I always go up on the straight. Three star. So okay, okay that's the 11 now running into something from behind. Um, but my setup here was 16 to 1, I mean, plus 6 offset, and then I would go uh, start before the guy in front of me, unfortunately. Percent, and then constantly adjust down as well as my tires, or my car getting tight. That okay, was having some struggles. The that almost was a caution. Also, I said, ooh, oh! Ooh! I mean, it was kind of a good save. He prevented it from being worse, so but he didn't lose so much time. You might as well have spun. <laughs> you have a plate that's straight. That's your offset. You have a plus six. Hey, me. I see my your wheel toilet paper car. A little bit to the right. Uh, I just found that ten car straight. pretty close. Maybe not wait through the field. It was a fun race. I thought it was a fun race to watch too. Had lots of action. Kind of like like this, lots of passes. Plus six because Very happy with that, how I that went. I feel like I'm wheeling it so much in the corner where I'm like, you know, my hand. They don't seem to be talking to me, so I'm gonna mute that. Just keep it on in case someone wants to uh, have a question for me or something. Mm 
Hmm. Is that Donald's car? Ooh, that Ford looks like he has too much speed. Nope, never mind, he's fine. It looks like he was gonna be heading straight toward the outside wall for a second. Maybe it was just, uh, the perspective made it look strange. That's the banana car. Well, then I'm gonna hit the wall again? Nope. Unfortunately, we're getting a lot of nothing. The incidents want to show us blankness. Kind of what feels best for you, but the two main key things are. They're talking about racing. It's a very good race with the six car. I appreciated uh, having a good battle. Moving along, it's a nice, fun, rusty Wallace-esque scheme. It looks weird having like a 17 on there, though. <laughs> Expect that big two on there. Got a guy pitting. Incidents aren't working too well, unfortunately. And when they do, it's usually just a wall tap. But uh, I guess that's a good thing. It means we didn't have too much of a mess tonight. Blah, blah, blah. 11, does he get him? He's got a head of steam, so he wants to try that outside line, but I guarantee you, unless this force is really slow, that he's not going to be past him. Well, you know what? I'm just a fool, because the floor blew his tire. <laughs> That's a blown tire is what that is. So you notice uh, he just doesn't turn at all anymore. That's because in iRacing, it is possible to blow a tire when this number or this number in the middle, or wherever, um, reaches zero. And when that happens, your car just doesn't turn anymore. It's not like a real life tire blow and... Well, I mean, I guess in a way it kinda is, but it's not quite as catastrophic as like what you would see in real life, and it doesn't like rip it up. But uh, the version that we get on iRacing, it just means your car doesn't turn anymore, and uh, you are required to pit. It gives you what, the, you know, the meatball flag <laughs> that says you have to pit. You have to fix this. So, that's why I'm glad that uh, that 18 wasn't a zero. That's a big head of steam for the 17. Wait, and that's when I start easing the throttle in. And as you're long, Oof. A little bamping. Huh. They were fighting hard. Nothing. 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 Hey, it's me. Is this when the six does the six get in the wall or can't remember. This could have been any lap for the past twenty laps or so. So we, we had uh, we were following him for about twenty laps. Got to see that weird cherub baby that's on the front of the Charmin. <laughs> Probably staring at him in the rear view mirror. It's intimidation. Yeah, that 10. Kind of feel bad being grumpy and being like, Hey, can I have some space, please? Now, especially like right when I was finally passed and gone. But, uh, man, he was making me nervous. I was just trying to make that pass, and <laughs> I had to think about whether that guy was going to dive in on me, too. Because I knew he had fresher tires, so, I mean, look, he's, like, coming up real close. It's like, where are you going, man? You're lapped down. Are you going to unlap yourself? You're going to pass everybody twice? Like, I don't think that's going to happen, my guy. So, here's where I was kind of, like, trying to do, like, a outside line, and then I was hoping to do a crossover after I get the momentum up there, but... Honestly, I had too much speed <laughs> in that second lane, and I was still side by side with him by the time I uh, got to that point in the corner where I'd normally cross over. So, yeah, see that guy's <laughs> he's scaring me. He's like coming up on me, and I'm trying to think about how I'm making this pass. I'm really focused on that, but then he's like dividing my attention. He's like trying to follow me through. It's like, gee whiz, my guy. So I finally, I think this is where I finally get it. Yeah, and then the ten, I don't know where he's going. But I guess he helps me. You know, I didn't want the help, but 
kind of helps me because he makes it towards six can't get low but oh uh, whatever I don't know why we saw that anyway because it wasn't an incident but kind of liked reviewing that talking over that a little bit but uh that's a whole lot of nothing oh there here are two cars banana and twin number one or two or not. I guess the 5 blew a tire, maybe? Or is really close to it. I don't think he blew a tire yet, but it looks like it's pretty close. Because he's real slow in the corners. Yeah, look at that. He's like running that high line. He might have a blown tire. He's the other guy. Ooh, yep, see? I almost did that early in the race, if you remember that. I almost did that exact same thing. Because when you're uh, on the outside of someone here, it's so easy to kind of like lose, you know, not get the angle and turn in. So I, I had to actually like hit the brake earlier in the race to prevent that from happening. And, uh, well, that's what, that's, okay. <laughs> that's the end of the race. On that note. <laughs> All right, well. Very happy with that. Very That was a very fun race. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, 87s are always a good time. I uh, got to do lots of passes. Didn't have anything for the lead guy. Um, he had it figured out. And uh, I think probably was able to save tires because he wasn't battling anyone for the majority of the time. So, um, right. yeah. Fun stuff, and I hope it was fun to watch. And I hope you have a good one.